Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. So, I usually type in uh, today in history, but instead of that, I accidentally typed in fact of the day just, just randomly. And so, Google apparently has facts of the day. I don't know if this pertains to the certain day. I really don't think so, <laughs> given the fact that I'm reading right now. But I guess today's fact day and not history lesson day. So, why do people say cheese when taking a picture? We're not sure when or let me read, yeah. We're not sure when or where a photographer first asked his subjects to state the name of the delicious dairy product, but we do know that when you say cheese, the corners of your mouth turn up, your cheeks lift and show your teeth. That um I mean, it's a fact. So okay, the the only hang on, my chair's actually just sliding right now. My carpet's all fucked, I guess. <laughs> So, I mean, that is a fact. However, <laughs> I don't think I learned anything. All I learned is the fact that they don't know where a cooler fact would have come from. Like, the fact that they said they don't know uh, is cooler than the fact that was presented, which is the fact that they don't know. Like, what I'm trying to say is, I wish I knew the origin of why you have to say cheese. And I already knew it exposed all your- it made, it made you essentially smile cheese, obviously. I have known that since I was like two. That was- that was worthless. But that's the fact you get- I don't like guillotine. But it's a tears up, yeah. But I'm literally never gonna register where my tears are coming from. I'm never gonna register where my body is. And it's like, oh, but learn it. It's like, okay, okay, have you seen this game called The Binding of Isaac? Do you know how many goddamn things I have to look out for on a consistent basis? I'm not- <laughs> I'm literally not trying to add confusion of where my actual fucking body is to the list. But it's a tears up, yeah! Tears up, but you basically might as well take away half my HP from the start. It's nonsense and I hate it. So, okay, why haven't you heard Babylon, you asked? I don't know, man. I am just kind of cautious right now. I don't want to lose this daily floor one is essentially what I'm thinking right now. Uh, it would help me a lot here. I, what I probably should have done... Actually, you know what? There's a red heart right out there, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, but I probably should have gone in the curse room first, maybe? Because I was I was saving uh, my razor blade for the end of the floor to go in that curse room, but there's a red heart right out there. So we're absolutely horror Babylon, and also get the, the razor blade bonus. Razor blade... Razor blade? I feel like it's an underrated item. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like most people just ditch it as Eve, but I think it's very fucking solid. Love that red heart. Let's go back there, and we are going to the lamb today. So what are you trying to do? Get a good score? Uh, get, get a good time on this daily? I don't know, man. Just, at the very minimum, I'm always trying to get a good score. So we can leave it at that, I suppose. And I hate this. Let me, you know what? Let me use the razor blade right now to kill them faster. That could be an interesting meme. You know that meme where it's like the, the stick figure with like the hand on it? She's like, hmm, today I will. And I'll be like, well, use the razor blade in here. What can go wrong? And then they die. And it's very funny. A million hits on YouTube. The crowd goes wild. The crowd actually goes nuts. The crowd's going a little too nuts. They're, they're killing each other. This crowd is actually crazy. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. The crowd, you know what? The crowd let them kill each other. I don't care. I was just a performer. The, it's never the performer's fault if the crowd starts to mangle each other. And if it is, explain to me how. Because I clearly don't understand. So we have Cuba meat. I wonder how long this would take to kill Delirium. Okay, dude. Dude. The video I put out today, which is the video I just stated. Um, how long will Nod Leaf... Well, I didn't fully say it, I guess. Yeah, this is important, using Razor Blade here. <laughs> uh, how long will Nod Leaf take to kill... And, and, and Cuba meat take to kill Delirium? I upload that video. By title alone... That should have a million hits. Okay, and here's why I say that. And I literally don't literally mean a million, but if we're getting videos that are fake, um, that are like, what happens if you take 64 soy milks when the real answer is nothing? And if those are getting so many goddamn fucking views, there's no way something like this can't get views. Because I don't know, it's just an interesting question that you know, you are getting answered. But this one's real. This one actually has a real result. <laughs> um, no shade, but also shade, to be completely honest. Because I don't I don't care if anyone gets success on YouTube. It's just like you're literally tricking people. Literally saying, oh, what happens if this stacks? Because, you know, when there's the question, like, what happens if you get 64 boiled babies? 
It's an obvious answer. There's 64 of them. They all squirt. I don't know how that's interesting. However, I ain't blaming the creator there. Fucking a. Because I don't think he. I didn't, I didn't watch that video. Because why would I? <laughs> but I don't think he's trying to trick anyone. But that's my thing. So I will do this. So it's like uh, I don't know if the audience wants to watch something stupid. Sure, but just don't try to trick their stupidity like that. Clickbait's one thing. Just making up a video is another thing. Just give me some epic sauce. Ah, that's death. So is that spider almost? Damn it. I just want something that was worth one red heart so I can get rid of this. Range my ass. That's really Eve's lowest stat. That's kind of pathetic. So, uh, are we going to risk that curse room? Hey, yeah, well, we already tried that. We need to find uh, the next secret room. I know there's a chest over here we can get as well. So we're going to get on that. We already tried to the right right there. What am I even doing? Uh, ooh. I love that, actually. Love that quite a bit. I, I almost never get is that Isaac's, that's Isaac's tomb, right? I suppose I should have read that a little more. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that is what that is. Okay, uh oh, two bone hearts. Okay, good, good. No, I want another key. I want another key. Uh let's peep the shop though. No reason not to peep the shop. And uh let's also get magic mush real quick. But I posted the video right now, and honestly, I think I've talked about this before. Can't quite recall. I so first of all, my sleep schedule is bad no matter what, so it's not like it would be any better other uh, otherwise. Uh, to get that you know out of the way early on, but oh yeah, we got curse of the towers. Like where they go? Where all this shit in there go? But um, I wake up at 11:30 and I post my videos at 11, and I do that purposefully. So we'll be waking up around you know 10 to noon anyway. With that, without this, what I'm about to say. However, doing it like this to make sure I don't wake up at 11 is, oh, I wish I took a soul. Actually, it doesn't matter. It is, in my opinion, kind of, oh, it's not going to matter. These rotten hearts I actually just fucked myself. No, I did. There's three of them. Because I can now take them out of the void, first of all. I, when a new video uploads that I really care about, I really, really want to see how it's doing right off the gate. So oftentimes, they'll catch me just like refreshing my phone every now and then. And it's, I know that took a key, that's annoying. And it's its annoying and definitely not good, and it's obsessive, and that's why, that's why I wake up later. And then when I wake up later, you know, 30 minutes in, it'll tell you the results of all, all your last 10 videos. So it's like, okay, your video's doing, you know, the fifth best out of your last 10 or whatever. So I always do that for peace of mind, to wake up and just know. Because otherwise, it's like, okay, the video's up, okay, let me refresh, okay, two minutes later, let me refresh, just to see how it's stacking up. Or see how I was doing in general. So I, I want just to be, you know, give it to me straight. Like, okay, how how to do? Just how to do. I don't want any of the uh, the in between nonsense because it's just gonna, you know, drive me nuts for a second. So we will open this chest. I don't know if it's any better than the tr item room, but uh, I'd rather get a bunch of planetarium. Maybe some good at that chest. I don't know how good Isaac's tomb is to be honest. So um, you know, I wake up and I, I release the. Delirium versus Cuba meat video that I think I, st I still do think it has crazy potential to do super well just because you know audiences like or I guess people in this sense they like watching uh, number go up they like watching cookie cooker type things so theoretically I can't imagine they don't like to watch health bar go down in Isaac uh, for a very and this is like a well-known synergy too like, people know about Nod, Leafless, Cube, and Meat. However, the video didn't do well when I woke up. Uh, it's 8 out of 10, and it went down to 9 out of 10 for a minute, and it went right back up. And I was just like, oh no. Because I like I know what uh, you know the 9s and 10s are. I know how many views that got, so it's kind of like, okay, if it's... Pff, that sucked. Dude, like, at least on pair to these, then it's like, this video is only going to get so many views. Is essentially how I viewed, at least. So it's like, oh no, 9 out of 10, it's not going to do any better than this other video that is 8 out of 10 and I got like 2k. That's essentially the thought process right there. Um, which sometimes, I think I already tried that actually. Oh god, let's do that now, let's get rid of that now. Sometimes I can be pleasantly surprised, sometimes I'm not, and it's exactly what I expect. If anything, I would say most of the time I'm not too surprised. If anything, I'm like, oh, I did a little better than I expected, but it's never like, whoa! It rarely is like, whoa, I should say at the end of the day. Once in a while I can be. So, I have so much faith that this video can pick up. I really do. But still at 8 out of 10 right now, and it's been out since... It's, it's 1, 1 p.m. It's been out since 11 a.m. So, it's like, should I still have the faith? I don't know. I guess we're going for Planetarium. I was hoping to maybe get a key in there as well, but no. So, because I don't know. I just... I literally just have that much faith in this video. 
and I think it's really well put together too. I like the video itself a lot. And you gotta be the first person to believe in your own project or other people won't either. It's like, how do you know people are gonna like that if you don't like it? So maybe it's me being egotistical, but I don't think so. I, I think I just genuinely like the video and at least my thought process why people will like it's there. You know, if this gets like, you know, 50k views and then no one watches the next parts, so I'm like, all right, well, people gave it a shot. They don't like it. I understand. But if this one just sits at like 2k views forever, I'm gonna think there's, I'm literally always gonna think there's potential in the thumbnail, the title, the promotion, the whatever didn't work out. I will always think if I was a bigger YouTuber or someone who's a little luckier with the algorithm at that moment, then we would have gotten the views. I, I will genuinely think that. <laughs> um, and maybe that's me being a little stubborn, but until, you know, a lot of people see it and then continue not to give a shit, then I'll be like, all right, people don't give a shit. I've lost, I've been defeated. Mr. YouTube defeated me. But until then, I shall be holding it hope. And I'm taking really dumb damage. And I'm kind of annoyed. Because <laughs> we really don't have any damage up, so we're literally relying on Mob the Void. That's really good. Which is actually very annoying, the fact we're relying on Mob the Void. I love Mob the Void. Don't want to have to rely on it, so thank god I got that fucking devil deal. And we do, actually, no, we do have Horror Babylon, now that I think about it. And didn't we get that, did we get some stats up? Or am I tripping? Did we get a pill? I don't remember. I might be tripping here. Ooh. Not a bad spot, actually. Oh, wait. There's rooms that connect there? Oh, this is an interesting room layout, actually. I didn't mean to go up there. And, dude, I have so many video ideas, so many series ideas that I can continue off, too. Because it's one thing to have good video ideas. You know, if that video does viral, depending on what kind of video and how viral it goes, it's really only going to get you so far. But if you have a viral series idea... I, th I think that's the key to YouTube, to it. I mean, I, I've talked about, I've talked about, I had so many YouTube talks, and this is another YouTube talk video. It's all right, though, right? Please say it's all right. Um, so I've talked about many things, I'm just honestly going to say no, that can be, that are, are keys or can be helpful, but like, I think the number one thing aside, I mean, consistency is the number one thing that goes right along with this, but on top of that, the consistency uh, kind of alludes to having a series. So, you're having a banger series, that's what you need. That's what you need to create that consistency. So, um, and I, I have so many series ideas. Like, if this Cuban meat thing does well, which I'm going to try to shove it down people's throat for a few times. So, I can, you know, either prove to myself people don't like it or prove to myself that people do like it. Either way, I'm proving it to myself. Or the people. Or the world, though. I don't know. Because I believe in it too much, maybe. But I believe in it a good amount. So, we're proving it. We're proving ourselves here. And then, um, I have a couple other series that, like, if that doesn't do well, which it, it might not, I'm willing to accept that for real, but if that doesn't do well, let me hit you with, like, two other ideas, essentially, because I do have two other ideas for, like, series that I think could do very well. I don't know which series is gonna do the best. I, it's hard, it's almost hard to believe. I can foresee it happening. I'm not gonna be just so blinded by my, what I think is good, because what I think is good isn't always what people want to see. So I'm not going to be blinded by that. But I, I actually can see potential for all of these series doing well. And I'm not even considering the Cuban meat thing a failure yet. Way too early on. Way too early on to tell. Let me try, you know, do one of those streams on YouTube. And then maybe that'll generate some views there. Maybe it's only a live stream thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I do still feel see potential in it. And other ideas I do as well. And I wonder if Mom's Box increases the uh, Crassus Key chance. I don't know, actually. So, why did I ignore the item room, by the way? I don't even know. I don't want planetariums that badly. <laughs> so, yeah. The, and you just have to be a believer of your own videos before anyone else can, like I said. Like, you need to be your own biggest fan first. Like, if something blows up and you're just like... Like, I almost hate when people say, like... Oh, I never thought my genius idea would blow up. They, they say it in a more humble way. But that that's just them trying to be humble. I'm not going to sit here and say, um, before I got subscribers on Kielvin, I never expected it. Maybe I've said that before. Because, that, you know, to some extent, when you start YouTube, you, you kind of, not even thinking about it, you kind of say things that all YouTubers say. Like, I'm not a fan of people saying that I love my audience uh, and stuff like that. I didn't want two of those. Damn it. But um, I think I've said it before, and I, I do kind of mean it is the thing. I get why people say it. But I, I even if you mean it, 
I almost feel like you're lulling your audience into some awkwardness. Like, uh, just thinking that you care more, more than you do. I don't know. It, it's just weird. Because I don't know you guys. I know some of you guys uh, from Discord and shit. I know some of the hardcore fans a lot. And at the end of the day, it's almost people, people are like saying, like, the YouTubers are saying, like, I love your, the support. I, I love the support you're giving me, not you. That's kind of why I've always equated it to, because they can't love me. They can't know. They love the support I'm giving them. They love the views I'm giving them. Which is valid. But they obviously can't say that. And I, I probably, I, I know I have said it. And it was genuine when I've said it, but, like, it, it just it feels so weird to say, you know what I mean? So, I, I probably said, like, oh, I didn't expect to blow up, because... Like I said, at the start, I feel like, at least I, you almost, like, do the things that YouTubers just do. Like, you're going to start videos like, hey, guys. You're going to say, make sure you like and subscribe, because you're just kind of following people. So, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of weird in that sense. You you almost just subconsciously copy to a certain extent, which I know I did for sure. On a couple things like that. So, I'm sure I've said, I didn't expect to blow up. And it's not like I'm saying I knew it was guaranteed. But I kinda, I kinda thought it was in an, in an egotistical way, maybe, because what I was doing for a while on my other channel, I always just say like, oh yeah, I was working on sketches and memes on the other channel. But it's not, it's not like that's just a short of it, which is true. But it's not like that's all. Well, interesting. That's all I was doing. Interesting. I literally don't know why I thought he died from something. Uh, I'll use it once and drop it, I guess. So I don't know, man. Oh, I do know, man. I don't even know why I said that. That was some weird filler. That just was nonsense. Ooh, full card on Necropolis 1. Interesting. We do want to make bossers. I just remembered that, actually. I don't want that. Actually, I would like to lose this. So now can I have a double deal, please, so I can lose that? So, okay. This is this is why I say I always... I, I don't want to say I never thought I would blow up. Because when I started doing, you know, the shorts and memes on my other channel... I was doing a hell of a lot of research, a quote-unquote research. I was gonna say, how did I knock a hit there? I, I was looking at what other big sketch memers, like people in my field, I was looking at what other big ones do. I was looking at what other small ones do. I was constantly stalking subreddits, constantly stalking um, people's channels, like trying to find current events, trying to make memes off current events. So I was trying to figure out how people got popular from what. And how can I make one of these strategies my strategy as well? You know, I was constantly thinking about just strategy and quality of video too. And I had a new strategy I was going into uh, that channel with until Kielvin took off. And I just didn't have a strategy suddenly because, you know, I stopped posting there. But, like, I literally had so many strategies, so many ideas. Like, it was honestly what I did on that channel was only the tip of the iceberg. And the iceberg would be tipped a bit by now if I continued to post. Like, I still have so many ideas I just haven't done. I really fucking want to. <laughs> but Kielvin, you know what? It took over. Honestly. Ooh, store credit. We don't have anything great in this shop. We don't we want boss rush, by the way. Fuck me. Um, I like this better at this point. I'll keep my castle key and move on. Oh, God. Uh, I won't continue. I won't continue. This is a fucking long... This is like a skinny-ass path. So, I genuinely... I would always say to my friends, like, Oh, no, maybe we won't, I won't blow up. Who knows? In my head, I was genuinely thinking, I know I'm going to blow up when, uh, sometime, it's a matter of when and how. Because I knew with how much work I was putting into it, and like how competent my brain was with videos already at that point. Like, I, I, I've been doing videos since high school, which I'm not saying I'm the best at it, but I was realistic with everything. I kind of knew what to do to a certain extent, as far as at least video production goes. All my videos weren't bangers, a lot of them weren't good, I'm going to say it right now. But like, what? Oh. <laughs> I knew what I was doing, I knew how to learn, and I was learning, and I, I always knew it was a question of when. Uh, and the answer was, uh, on Kielvin. <laughs> Which is surprising. And then I could, I could say the same thing for Kielvin, like I was always like, searching for like, what the new video to do, striking subreddits. Uh, okay, no, I got, I'm taking shade just because, uh, for Babylon. Um, but do I already have Horror Babylon? Do bone hearts count towards it? I don't know, well we have shade now. But it's weird because with, with Kielvin, everything I was doing at the start, don't give me trinkets, w was just casually working. Well, I thought I had mom's box still for some reason. So, like, I haven't really stalked or, like, you know, ch I looked at other people's channels. I haven't, like, looked at Reddit's or, like, really kept up with a lot of stuff for the most part. Because uh, at the start, everything on Kielvin was just casually working. Uh, but then I kind of hit my cap of 
that strategy, I suppose. And we are looking for the boss room first and foremost. So I, I hit the cap of what I was going to figure out on my own to a certain extent. You know, I, I still had ideas in general. But, like, it, it became time where I have to start looking at the Steam Workshop regularly. I have to start looking at the Reddit regularly. I have to start... I have to continue to keep like, checking on people's channels regularly just to get ideas and inspiration, see what other people like, see what other people are doing, uh, and just figure shit out that way. And that's just what you gotta do. Um, so, I am now in that stage, and given everything that I've seen, I, I, that's why I think the cube meet's gonna work out one day. I swear to God, bro, I will mark my words. But uh, that's why I'm so confident in any of the series I have plans working out. Because I, I just know what people on YouTube want to a certain extent. There's a lot of shit I don't understand. I'm not claiming to be the know-it-all. I, I just don't want to appear egotistical at all in this because I'm not. Like, if all these videos flops, I will be, I'll, I'll, I'll be surprised. But I won't be like, what? No way! It's impossible. My calculations were incorrect. I'd be like, ah, oh, damn it, really? But at that point, I still have, like, other pseudo-ideas that I can fall back on. Like, not fully fleshed out ones. At the end of the day, we have the tried and true, just do, uh, guides or reviews of Isaac and stuff like that. Like, uh, there's still so many options, even if my all my current ideas for series fails, that we can fall back on just continuously covering, you know, all the blanks in Isaac and that kind of stuff, which I don't mind doing. I still want to do that no matter what. Uh, Chalk will me up. Let's, uh, let's tempt it for a minute, and then... Oh, I figured we have chocolate milk. I literally figured we have chocolate milk. Ah, I don't want to tempt it with chocolate milk. I'm out of the void. It's going to be obnoxious, to be completely honest with you. Let's look for item room. What did I leave behind? Castle key? I'm actually... You know what? Castle key only going to do so much. So, yeah. Chocolate milk plus mom the void is not a synergy. What the fuck is he doing? Ooh. It's golden, so I take it. Can't lie to you. But it's all right. It's all right. With a little slower tier rate, it would be... <laughs> So, I guess that's where I'm with YouTube. Like, I feel confident at this point. It's another situation of... I know Kilvin is going to hit a huge spike soon and blow up over the next few... Not about the next few months. Over some few months. But when are those few months going to be? I don't know. It's pretty much like all about like what order do I try <laughs> these ideas and which ones are going to be most successful. I think it's actually going to come down to that. It really might. And so, I, I, I'm, I feel like I'm at the cusp of something. And that's, again, it's not me being, being cocky, it's literally me believing in myself. That's actually where I, I should have said from the beginning. This is all me believing in myself. <laughs> so excuse me if this is cocky, but I'm, you have to be competent to a certain extent. It's good to believe in yourself, it's good to love your ideas so much. It's good to not be depressed about making fucking videos, you know? And be excited about something, that's what I am right now. So if any of this is coming up, cocky, arrogance, egotistical, what have you. Not sorry. <laughs> Uh, you clearly don't understand the passion coming out of my mouth. It almost feels cringy to say passion. It shouldn't be, and it's not cringy. Fuck it. Going for epic scores. Maybe we can get boss rush again. No, there's no way we have time. Yeah, we're already past it. So, but, but that's just my outlook on the channel and YouTube. And that's kind of been my mindset. Like, I know I will blow up, but when? And I'm not saying I'm going to be 10 million subscribers. And I'm not saying this or that. But all I'm saying is... I have looked at my channel. I know exactly why I got views. I know exactly why I stopped getting views at certain points. I think I know what people want to watch, and I'm ready just to go for it. And I'm going for it right now. And yesterday, I worked on so many goddamn videos. I think I got like three extra videos made. And I have like eight days. I think today actually makes it now seven days scheduled out for how many views I videos I have backlogged on YouTube. Which does not happen often, just, just say that. <laughs> does not happen often having that many videos in the backlog. Usually it's like one or two. So I have eight right now. And the plan after this is to get... Yeah, I will. Um, I don't know. How many more? I think I have like four more videos I could fully edit. Fuck it. Right now. I don't know how many are going to get done today. Because it, it's, you know, it's four. So that's a decent number for editing from start to finish. I do think I can do it, though. Um, at least most of them. At least three I bet I can get out. And I also might stream today, too. But it'll be another AFK stream for the cube meat thing. But, yeah, dude. That's how I feel. And that's how... Not that I'm telling you how to interpret it. But I feel like you should interpret... 
what I'm saying with those things in mind, that I'm not just, like, cocky in myself. I've been around the block to a certain extent. And I got ideas and I believe in myself. That's all there is to it. Inspirational? Cringy? You decide. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of just talking about the same stuff right now, I feel like. But honestly, it's all that's on my mind. <laughs> like, I, there's been other streams. I mean, other one of these years where all YouTube was all that's on my mind. But, like, last night, it was really all that's what's on my mind. And it was because I was so anxious about the Cuba Meat video coming out. Because I was like, yeah, this might be a sign of if a series is going like, to... I was like, tomorrow might be a good sign if this one of my few series ideas is going to do well or not. And it was scary. I was actually genuinely, like, very anxious last night. And I'm not... I'm really not an anxious person. I don't get anxiety almost ever and stuff like that. Oh, God, I didn't even see that shadow. So, for, for me being anxious... Well, I, I get nervous and stuff, but, like, anxious is different. For me getting anxious, I feel like... You know, I feel like I'm I gotta be really worried about something. But... So, I, I was just kind of... I was, that's all I was thinking. Like, for the past couple hours last night, all I was thinking about was that video... As sad or whatever as that might seem, I was like, if this video just pops off, I have a million more just like it to come. And I'm probably gonna have the next feeling when I make the next part one of the series. Um, and right in and I woke up, wake up to it, it kind of flopping, so I was like, oh great. But at the end of the day, I, I still we still have time like I've been saying for a million years now. So and then once my next series comes, the night before I bet I'll be the same way. And that's kind of where I was kind of thinking of the topic. I wasn't thinking of, like, what topic would be good for tomorrow? I was I was thinking about kind of what I'm talking about right now. I was like, because uh, the thing is, the fact that I have so many ideas right now in so many series, so much has to go wrong right now for none of it to work out. For me not to get some success off, a good amount of success off this. So much genuinely has to go wrong, or I just have to stop trying. Right now, it's one or the other. So that's kind of where a lot of this is coming from, too. It's like, it's almost like there's no way all this goes wrong. People have to hate so many ideas that I can't imagine a lot of people really hate. <laughs> and, and it's a weird, there's a weird thing with YouTube. Where this happened with the uh, Living in the Light but Cat music video, where it got so many goddamn comments. It got so many goddamn likes, more than some videos that had like 10k. That's how many likes and comments it was getting. But... YouTube doesn't promote that as much. The click-through rate wasn't the highest for sure, and I think that's why YouTube said no. However, the comments were off the chain, the likes were off the chain. I'm surprised YouTube doesn't look at that metric a little more. I don't I don't I just don't think it does, I suppose. I'm not really saying that it does or doesn't. I just think YouTube says click-through rate, watch time. Alright, Bucko. You're free to go. Let me promote your videos to everybody. And I'm sure likes help to a certain extent. I, I, I've heard comments don't because it's hard to tell if these comments are positive or not. Or just hate comments. I don't know if that's true. But that's just what I've heard in general. So, how do I have no active item? Forget me now. Okay. Um, and that's sad. Because people fucking love living in a like cat music video. People, There's fan art of it. There's literal fan art of it right now. I'm going to post that in the community tab. I gotta ask the guy. So, it, it, and it's just like, alright, YouTube YouTube just sees a few metrics. M less metrics than I feel like there really is, almost. It's, it feels that way, at least. I don't really know. But, like, YouTube could be doing more to promote videos that people really love. Because I, like, I know that video could go viral. I know it could. Just given the reception. Beforehand, I didn't know. I was like, eh, I think it's going to be funny. And the internet loves cats, but, like, I don't know how well it's going to do. But once I posted, I was like, you know, this... If YouTube wanted this to take off, it literally could so easily. Maybe the initial click-through rate would stifle it a bit, but when people watch it, they're going to share it. They're going to love it and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I... Th ah, fuck me. I thought I'd dodge that. That's how I feel about that video right now. But I understand if it doesn't, and it's okay if it doesn't. It's okay if none of this works out. No, it's not. Some of it has to work out at the end of the day. <laughs> I just was trying to sound positive. I was like, wait a second. No. If all my... Fucking A! If all my ideas fail, then I'd probably cry. And Ooh, I didn't even go on Teratoma yet. I know exactly how long it took to kill you with Cuba meat. Y'all want to know? Go watch the new video. This is an advertisement. And on this run, we should have full health. I feel like I feel like we're actually flopping. Because uh, we have such a great build going on. So, does do Bone Arts not give us for Babylon? Because that's the only reason why I have... I took that uh, Ghost Baby right there. It will. 
So, yeah, I don't know. What else am I going to talk about? Nothing else is on my brain. Goodbye, Golden Isaac Head. <laughs> no, I can think of other stuff. For example, hey, hoes. There we go. <laughs> oh, God. But maybe I don't want to think of other stuff. Maybe this is all I want to talk about. Because it genuinely is all on my mind. All to my mind. And I know people are going to say it's not healthy. I know people get burnt out this way. Uh, and I've talked about this before. Don't worry. I've gotten burnt out before and I took a break. And now I know how to identify it easier. And I promise I will take a break if any burnout, any signs of just struggling. Because right now, I'm just, I'm actually in a high, I'd say, if anything. Right now, I'm in a creative high where burnouts come, in my opinion, from my experience, I should say. My burnouts have come from lack of the inspiration, lack of the high, lack of the ideas. And right now, I have so many ideas. We are in the opposite of burnout. We are actually in the opposite right now. Maybe I should think about it less because, you know, if it doesn't work out. I'll, again, I'll be shocked. I mean, if all oh, this doesn't work out, I'll be shocked. But if it doesn't work out, then, like, yeah, that sucks. I hyped myself up a little too much, probably. But we're not there yet. <laughs> because there's, there's just so much to go before I really get depressed and go, oh, holy shit, this didn't work out. And like I said, a lot has to go wrong. Because it's not like I'm, I'm like, if we don't get 100k subs from these, I'm going to freak out. It's not even close to that. It's literally like if these videos... Just, you know, if none of these had like 10k, I'll cry. It, there's not a huge threshold is also the thing. But I, I think this also could put me to like, I don't know about 100k, but like, gaining serious traction. I really think this could. I think it could. But if it doesn't and it just gives me, you know, like 10k more subs as opposed to like 50k more subs, I don't give a fuck. That's awesome. I got 10k more subs. Thank you guys. You know? I got this many X more videos. We're almost at uh, 10 million views across the channel. Ugh! That's fucking awesome, you know? I'm not gonna fucking argue with most stuff. As long as it does good. It doesn't have to go crazy. We're not gonna die to Hush, because we would probably die to Hush, just given how trash I'm playing. And maybe my mind's just not on Isaac. And I don't know how much you guys watch it for, just commentary versus gameplay. I, I do try to get good scores, even if commentary is caring. If I don't go for a good score, I'm literally gonna be like, okay, score stoppers, when we talk about this. <laughs> Which I guess maybe I should have said from the start. Because I didn't realize how much this is all I could focus on is. But it is. Because as, as I'm doing this, to be honest, to be completely honest, I'm thinking about like what I want to edit right now. It's just the only thing on my mind. We're in that creative high, and I'm happy to be in it. I really am. Who knew it again? And, and, and by the way, this, this came after a slump. Like a really, really bad slump of me not being able to work on anything. So maybe this video is some arrogant guy talking to you. I would hope, if anything, this is motivation or just an interesting perspective at the very least. Because I was in a huge fucking slump before this. Making videos w was very hard. And I made three, at least three, four, I don't even know, videos yesterday. And brainstormed a lot more. And the th same thing's probably gonna happen today. And before these past two days, I've been working on videos like mad. So, like, if you're ever in a slump, all I'm trying to say is. Once you get over it, you never know what's to come. It gets better. Well, it stay better. I don't fucking know. I'm not going to claim to be a therapist giving good advice. All I'm saying is, if you're in a slump, try to let it pass. Let it pass, you know? Because excellence could come right after. Or at least does some kind of high can come. You live for the highs, or maybe. I don't know. Like I'm, like I'm saying, this isn't me trying to give advice. This is me talking probably nonsense to a certain extent. And me kind of saying, maybe it's motivational too. Cool if it was. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I'm not counting on it. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I didn't see that damage. I saw him. I didn't even see that bullet hit me. I'm tripping. Losing my mind. Losing my eyesight. I think my score... My time is probably pretty good, to be honest. Because... Oh, no. We, in 30 minutes. I was going to say, because we got Mom. We almost got, like, Boss Rush times 2. You know, using Forget Me Now. But I think my score is... Aside from... The damage penalty is going to be the worst. If you don't have the damage penalty, that's, like, how you, like... Get, why is that one not opening up? That's how you, like, guarantee yourself a good score, I feel like. You, you need the good damage penalty. And then if you just do everything else, at least okay. That's a huge send-off. Because stuff like item penalty and item penalty is not a huge difference. You can really grab... If, I feel like there's not a huge difference between someone who grabs no items and someone who grabs, like, most if not all the items. What? I didn't even move up. How? Do, do those hitboxes protrude a little bit? Yes, sir. Do they stick out a little bit? Is this conjoined? No, I thought it was for a second. Put that back down. Because I was like... 
hugging that rock. I mean, hugging that initial stone. I wasn't, like, pushing up on it, but I was touching it. So I don't even know, dude. I don't even know what the fuck that was. That garbage shit right there. But it's alright. We move on. We have Soul Bethany. I don't know what I'm saving it for. Why did he shoot me? This is this chocolate milk break that enemy? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll Soul of Bethany. We'll charge the fuck up. We'll look this way and then place the bomb so we don't push the bomb over. Like we kind of would, I guess. <laughs> do we not have mod? How do we not have mod the void pop out right there? Okay, we have a hell of shield right now, which I love. Oh, God, okay. I think Mod the Void is still stronger than our Chocolate Milk tiers. I feel like maybe this slowed down a bit with Chocolate Milk. I don't know. Or because of Chocolate Milk. Uh, get Feared. I don't know how well this is going to do. You don't get Feared. Okay, my bad, I guess. You get Charmed, though, apparently. Which has nothing for me. All my Wisps are gone. It's all right. What? That's all right. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, you just fucking borderline teleported. All right, Satan suck my dick. I love for that. You are the thickest Satan around. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. And at the end of the day, there's always those clips that you know are gonna do at least okay that I can post. Are, are, I swear to God, are these? Did the shadows get darker? I'm not even kidding when I asked that. I feel like they did. I can barely see. I, I didn't see at least, but I wasn't also looking out for that. So that was my bad. Like, I'm doing. What? I didn't see him. Maybe my peripheral is just shot. Like, I'm not even kidding. This can't be the second time my dad is Satan in a fucking daily. Like, actually. I, I don't know. What? <laughs> I'm going right through that. I don't know how I'm feeling to say it so hard right now. But it's alright. It's alright. Nine lives is gonna be right here. Do 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 do. I used magic. I used magic skin once. Don't give me that. I'm gonna stay back with these guys. Don't give me two magic skins when I used it once. One at most. I would actually, if I had to guess, I would say no magic skin appears there because I literally used it just once. I don't know what the rate is for it to come back. All I know is that was very rude. Oh, there's nothing here. It was very rude to give me two of them. How dare you, Edmund? It is your fault. You are to blame. Also, Isaac's chest. Isaac's tomb, I mean. It didn't give me any, much bad. It gave me some soul arts, which if I didn't have right now, I would be, like, not in a good shape, I suppose. But I don't think it's that insane of an item. I don't I don't think people were saying that. I'm just giving my analysis on my first time really playing with what? Isaac's tomb. <laughs> All right, devil. The devil's done. I like, I do, I like me some old Skrill, Skrill, Skrillex. Oh god. You know what? I could talk about this for a whole video, so I won't get into it right now. How come? <sighs> fucking a. Music is one of the most gatekeepy things in the world. Oh my god! Especially for like generational music. Like you can't listen to emo music anymore because it's 2022. I know people are even freaking out about the rise above fest. But like. If it wasn't for that, you would not watch, listen to My Chemical Romance, you're getting judged. I feel like music is one of the most gatekeepy mediums. Not even since, like, you can't watch, it's like, uh, you're, you're, you can't, you can't join us, because we're gatekeeping. It's more like, uh, what? You can't listen to that. I'm gonna judge you for that. Like, people don't judge you for watching older TV shows. Maybe if it's weird. But, like... But people might judge you to listen to certain types of older music. I hate how much damage I'm taking. I hate the fact- oh, WHAT?! I don't think we're gonna be able to do this. Just given my failures right now. I, I can kill the lamb off this much HP for sure. Uh, given how bad I'm forming right now, I don't think we can do this. But, uh, do you know what- I, do you guys know what I mean? I think I talked about this before, actually. I'm getting flashbacks. But unless you listen to, like, something like the Beatles. Any, like, emo punk- it's- it, actually, you know what? It's mostly emo punk. Or a lot of emotional music. I've noticed that. People are gonna gatekeep. Like, like, oh, you listen to... Uh... Car seat headrest. This or that. And then they're gonna be like... you are gonna... Do it's so easy to judge people off music, I think people like to do. What? I want that bone art to say. We're learning into... I don't even care right now. <laughs> I'm not even in the mood to Isaac right now. I'm just figuring that out right now. The vibes aren't even there for this video. And it's stupid. <laughs> That's my analysis on people's gatekeeping of music in that sense. It's fucking stupid. No, I did talk about this before because I remember someone coming and like, I listen to what I want like, to listen to. And I was like, nice. I don't know. Now that I realize I talk about this, but I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I think I said the most. Oh, I'm the most. All I can say about it, I suppose, without repeating myself. Die, 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 die fast before you brimstone because it's a shitty brimstone spot. Give me an item to you, by the way. Just give me nine. We're actually getting kind of okay rooms here. I know we had that double uh, dark boy room. Hello. But for the most part, these are basic enemies. All right. Get the HP back up. Let's try not to flop because I'm still trying to win. The vibes aren't there. I'm figuring it out as we go along. 
I don't think the vibes were ever there to start. I didn't even realize that till now, though. <laughs> my, my brain, I, I actually think it's because my brain's in grind mode. So doing this almost feels like a, uh, a side thing that's like, this isn't the grind I want to be on right now. Which is actually part of why I want to end the, the daily series. Not because I'm not always in grind mode. It's just an extra hour out of my day that's, you know, only working on a certain type of video that I don't necessarily want to be my focus. And it low-key becomes the focus to a certain extent. Alright, uh, devil card. Do you get- okay, you get scared. I'm just gonna spam chocolate milk, I think, and bombs. Vengeful Spirit was actually a huge pickup, I almost didn't even take it. Because it was worth like three soul arts. Yeah, I didn't think I was getting out of that one, okay. I do want to live, so we're, we're focus mode's engaged. Let me, uh, try charging up Ma. Oh, uh, I didn't- my brain. Uh, whoa! That was very good, Ma was very good, however. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, I knew I had to stay in there. I literally knew I had to stay in there. I could barely see where the opening was. At least we had mod charge there. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Okay. Still all right, to be honest. Mod's so good. Holy shit, dude. I didn't realize how much of a carry I was going to be this run. Dude, I, I love my titles in this channel cause, and the thumbnails because I don't even try that hard. This might be just going to be called Ma uh, Carries. Uh, in the thousands. My time was actually, I knew my time would be okay, at least. Uh, yeah, I, I deserve a worse score. That damage penalty is a fucking abysmal. <laughs> I guess the vibes weren't there. I didn't have a bad time, though. It's just, like, Gray Smith and Heptagon held me together by sandwiching me right there. But, if you did enjoy, thank you for watching. I hope you perceive this video in the way I would hope you would, I suppose. With maybe it's an interesting take, or at least some kind of motivation, maybe. And not arrogant, at least. And if it's overwhelming arrogance, yeah, I probably the video. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying shit now. But thank you for watching. Hope you all have a happy rest of your Tuesday. Peace out.